Alright guys, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to teach your kitty to use the toilets. I don't mind my toilet, it's kind of a little bit dirty, but it's a toilet nonetheless. So my kitty uses the toilet to pee and poo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it without the kit. So first of all, you're going to want to find a bowl. Now, this is the first step. First thing you want to do is find a bowl that fits inside your toilet. This is a mixing bowl. It's been used. It's got cat litter and it's a little bit dirty. But this is what you use for your first step. Okay? And when you do this, first thing you want to do is when he's a kitty or just a cat or whatever, you want to get the bowl and you want to make sure it fits in the toilet. And it doesn't have too high of a lip. This one here's got a little bit of a lip so the seat sits up a little bit. But that's okay. As long as it doesn't fit in, fall as long as it doesn't fall into the into the toilet bowl when you're sitting when someone there's a little bit of weight inside of it. Okay, second thing you're going to need is a little bit of um, kitty litter, preferably flushable kitty litter. Um, now I have flushable kitty litter, uh, it's a little bag, It's uh, I just got it at a, a dollar store or whatever because I wasn't planning on using kitty litter for a long time. So I bought this one bag when he was a kitty and I haven't really used the whole thing. So the first thing you're going to want to do when he's a kitty is you want to put litter inside of inside of the, the bowl, okay, I only put a little bit in, but uh, what you're going to want to do when he first starts is just have a little bit, fill the bottom just like you would with a regular cat litter, okay, then you're going to want to put the toilet seat down, that's the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want him to get used to jumping inside of the toilet and seeing the litter and uh, using the toilet like it's a litter box, so he will jump in and uh, look look inside and, and see the litter and, and play with it and, and do his thing like a cat would normally do. You want to get rid of the litter box in any other area of the house and uh, put put a little box or a little stand beside the toilet um, so he can jump into um, the bowl with the litter. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to want to do. And you're going to have a little bit more litter in there than that. But this will be what you're going to look at for your last stage, okay? So once he gets used to jumping into the toilet and using it to pee and poo in, should be probably the easiest part, um, getting him to use the toilet. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a piece of cardboard. So you're going to want to take the bowl out and put a piece of cardboard on top of the, the toilet seat. And then you're going to want to close the toilet seat and mark around the cardboard where the toilet seat is and uh, around the edge so you know where it is. And then take like a little cup, something like this would be perfect and then just put the cup on over top of the hole over top of the cardboard and make a little mark around it with a marker and then uh, cut the little hole so you have just a small little hole okay and then once you have that done okay for instance uh, this one here's a little bit bigger because this is like pretty much one of the last stages for him I've covered it with tape so that way there when the water splashes up from being flush when he accidentally pees or poos on the cardboard it lasts a little bit longer so this is just, just tape, it's like a, a tuck tape, like a packing tape kind of thing, I just covered it up with, so it's got like a, kind of like a, uh, you can use saran wrap probably or something, but just to protect the cardboard, right? So, now this is a little bit bigger of a hole, um, so when you get to the stage where you're using the cardboard, you want to have a small hole, something like the size of a cup, like a coffee cup or something would be perfect, perfect size for him, um, and then you're going to want to fill the litter, the litter in the bowl, and, and, and level it off with the cardboard. So you want to fill it up really full. Okay, so when the kitty comes up, the cat comes up and jumps on the toilet seat, he looks inside, he sees the kitty litter inside, and he digs at it, right? And then he'll poop inside of the little hole that he digs in, okay, that you cut out for him. Okay, so that's that's a pretty, pretty important step. He'll, he'll be pretty easy on doing that one. If he's used to jumping in the bowl without the cardboard at the first, so this is step two when you fill the the bowl right up with litter, okay? So it's flush. It's got a little hole. He digs and digs it out. It's going to make a mess, okay? It's, it's going to get kitty litter all over the toilet seat. You're going to have to clean it up. And uh, it, it's going to take it's gonna take a little bit of time for him to get used to it. But eventually you just start taking away the kitty litter. So when you keep cleaning it out, to keep taking away the kitty litter a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, until you get to the point where you only have a little bit of kitty litter left. So when there's only a little bit of litter left, you know, something like this is perfect. He's going to go in there, he's going to move it, and he's going to poop, and then you can clean it out. Okay? And then from this step here, where you got the little bit of litter, this is the step, the transition. So you only want this much litter in there, 
It's very little. So he'll see it, he'll pee in it, and he'll dig around in it, or she, or whatever. And um, and then when when he, when you're done with this part, he gets used to doing it with barely any litter. You want to replace that and put a little bit of water in it. So instead of using the litter, you want to fill the bottom with just a little bit of water, just so it just covers the bottom, just a little bit. So when he goes in there and he touches it, he feels the water. Now from this transition to the water part, it's probably the hardest because he's going to be used to digging in the litter and wants to use the, the litter and dig into it. But getting him used to the water is very important because once you get rid of, um, once he gets used in the, the water, so peeing in the water and pooping in the water inside of the bowl, and then you're on to your next step. And that step is where he's at. Okay. So you're going to want him probably keep the hole uh, about the same size um, but then you can just take something bigger like a like a small bowl or a bigger bigger mouth cup and and put it on top and just use that as a trace out or you can just cut it um, to to suit his uh, you know his, his, his little so he's got something to stand on the edge here so he's got to get used to standing on the edge of the, the toilet seat okay so the next thing that you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to just use the cardboard without the bowl, without the litter, into the water. Okay. So now if he or she gets used to doing it into the bowl with the litter, and and transitions to the water good, this part here should be a cinch. Um, reward them obviously when they they, they do to use the bathroom uh, with treats and stuff like that. It's, it's that way there they just know that they're doing something good. Um, and now when they start using the the toilet, they're going to come in and they're going to use it pee and poo and they'll scratch the toilet seat. Um, you know, put put it in the toilet seat kind of thing. Um, but the the problem is is that sometimes their feet get dirty and you keep cleaning the toilet seat. So it sometimes happens because they're kitties and they like to make a mess and, and do stuff. But see, he's uh, he's not really afraid of coming up here. You know, I come in here sometimes use a bathroom and I have to wait for him to finish doing his thing before, uh, before I can uh, use the bathroom. So... Um, but yeah, that, that then you're gonna want to eventually make the hole bigger, okay? So right now this stage here is where where he's at, and uh, he's getting used to standing on the toilet seat and stuff all the time. So he's a little bit bigger. He's almost a year old, and I'm probably gonna go and uh, move move this uh, cardboard uh, piece here, and I'm gonna cut probably from here on the edge all the way up to the front of the toilet seat and then back over to here. So this piece here will be completely missing and the only place he'll be able to stand will be just here on the back. So I'm going to cut half of the place where he can stand and just have the toilet seat here and then have the, the lip on the back. So he's only got a little bit of place to stand but then he'll have more room to look and, and use the bathroom. Okay. So like I said I'm going to probably do that and uh, we'll cut that out and we'll see how it goes. So. Um, and like I said, this is the last stage, okay, before he could get rid of the cardboard completely and then he could just stand on the toilet seat and use the toilet. So I'm going to go do that and cut that right now and uh, then we're going to we're gonna just look at it again <clears throat> and hopefully we can catch him in the, in the action. Anyway, so I'll be back in a bit, guys. Okay, so this is the last part of the toilet training experience and uh, just, uh, just so you know, when you go from the bowl to just the cardboard without the bowl and into the water. Don't feel bad if you have to use the litter a little bit or put the bowl back in just to get them used to using the, the toilet in, in this scene because they're used to doing it in the litter, right? And you can train them at any age to be able to do this. Um, so what you want to we want to do is just not to get discouraged and you got to have patience. So you got to be, be there and, and clean up their mess if they make a mess on the seat or on the floor. But uh, like I said, this is the last stage of the, the toilet training experience, and uh, and uh, you know you can come in here and and you, you'll see that they they leave a little surprise for you in the toilet, and uh, you know it's nice. And uh, I brought him to a vet to get fixed, and uh, they asked me if I noticed the smell uh, for being you know a male cat and stuff, and um, and I never did because he just used the toilet, so. But I ended up getting him fixed anyways because he uh, he is a he is a male cat and it'll take away that urge for him to to run away and go find a find a mate. So I like my kitty and I like him to be here. So that's uh, 
one of the main reasons why I did that, and uh, anyway, I don't think he needs to go right now, he went earlier, so if you uh, if you try this out and it works, just uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Like I said, this is uh, an alternative to using um, the, the kit that you buy. Now, I know I've heard people use the kit and it works, but this works the same and uh, it may take a little bit longer and you may need to find a bowl that fits in there. Um, so you want to find something that, that works and suits for you. But definitely use flushable kitty litter. Because uh, if some litter gets in, it'll clog the drains and you don't really want to do that. So the flushable litter is, is a little bit more uh, dissolving and you don't want to have problems with your plumbing. So, um, you know, once you get rid of the litter completely um, and he's comfortable using the toilet without the litter, uh, just kind of hide the litter and don't give him the option to use the litter box or the toilet. So. Just let him use the toilet and it should work really good and you know you come in here and give him a little a little flush he definitely likes to come in and, and watch his little little droppings go down the hole so if it's like if you guys like this video and then it helped out like i said don't forget to follow or subscribe i guess hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below and uh let me know what you guys think, okay?